There's how much tools you need for a bloody job like this. And we still, it's not done yet. This, this jam's staying in, that's going to be cut down. And we're going to go that way. I think the, the opening's three metres and something. Oh wow. That's not a mistake. 14 wheat vents. Good morning, we are en route. As you can see, the Robbies are in front of us with another big steel packed in the back of the van, so. But this one actually isn't for an extension. This one's actually just for fitting it into a wall, let's say. We've, yeah, it's where I've done a lot of work. Yeah, so. If you look left, I built this front on this school. All the brickwork on the front there, I built that. Oh, all the pillars. Very nice. I don't think we can film the school too long, they'll look very efficient. No, yeah, right, as long as nobody's there. But um, yeah, so this is going to be another big steel job. So, but the Robbies are here all day today, so they're going to be able to help us, which is uh, very good. So, well, team, team job this one. Yeah, we'll catch you when we're over there. If you keep it there. And there we are. So, plan is all them soldiers are coming out, and obviously a few more, and we're going to be extending this doorway into bifold doors. So, it's going to be a bit more fiddly than sticking on an extension, but. So we've got uh, all our tools in the Robbies here, so I'll get you set up while we get all set out. The Robbies are getting the scaffold over now, we're just getting all our tools out, so hurry on time lapse, see you in a sec. And there you have it, Robbie and Robbie's super scaffold. A bit uh, better looking than ours, but we won't talk about that. So, there you go. That's a good look at how it's looking so far. There's how much tools you need for a bloody job like this. And we still, it's not done yet. But we've got, we've got our acros round. We've got acros in here and we've got four inside as well. The customer's just clearing it out now. Late 80s, this, this is going to be sand and cement. Yeah. So, in other words, the recipe won't cut it. It's still a soldier up this one, yet. Yeah, right. But hopefully, we'll just get across the soldiers. We might have to take a portable out to give us some room to the Oh, yeah, oh, I'm, I'm, pre I'm prepared for that. The air tray goes on top of the soldiers. All right. But, yeah, so. We have spares under the window in case we break any. Yeah, that's that's fortunate for us because of the one we're doing. There's the soldiers. There's some more underneath because obviously once that steel goes back in, we're going to get the soldiers back in. Have you told them we're stopping there? Yeah. And then going that way with it. Well, I'll give them a rough description. You know better, don't you? So I'll pass right. it to you. Yeah, that's this this jam staying in. That's going to be cut down, and we're going to go that way. I think the the opening's three meters and something. So um. Yeah, we're all set up now, we're gonna get get making some mess. We'll catch you in a bit. Snap this board. There we go. Right in. Right in. Thank you. 
One big ass still moved, so just thought I'd give you a quick look at it. It's not as big as the one on the extension that we just did recently, but it's just as heavy. Bloody hell! It's a it's a feat, and uh, it's going to be another feat to get it lifted up there. <laughs> but like I say, we've got the Robbie, so hopefully it goes a bit okay. Wood, back on wood. So Dad's just gone back to get some insulation because as you can see it's all spray, um, sprayed in so we're going to back it up make sure it doesn't pour out so getting this sorted. Thankfully the mortar's coming off the bricks quite well at the moment it's very uh, it's solid but it comes off in chunks instead of like in little pieces so that's always a plus. Anyway enough talking I'll see you when he's back. So, top course is out, there's our tray which we're going to tuck underneath, there's our IG lintel with insulated blocks, so it was built with insulated blocks and it's been insulated after. We've managed to get into the soldiers without breaking any so far, so I'm going to pop these out. Luckily the mortar isn't too strong, so they clean up pretty easy, which is always a relief for Alex, because that's his job. So, we've got one acro in, so we're ready for our next acro now. And as you see, we always tuck some insulation up when it's injected. By the way, the telltale sign for being injected is, if I can find one, it's the round holes. Generally poorly patched, different colour mortar. So, that's how you know that it's got injected insulation in it which means you've got to preserve it. So I'm going to cut another strip off there and get that in there. Take the last few shoulders out and get our next acro in here. We'll put them in every 800. There's quite a big span this, so let's get cracking on with that. The Robbie and Robbie inside getting inside propped up for us. It's going to be a big hole this. So let's crack on.
cooling down. It's a very humid day today. Right, what we've done is we've just moved all the acros back. Right, as far back as we can get them. So now, we can push this scaffold back that way and get a plank in this side, down this side, so we can slide the steel along. And it's given us a bit more room to actually lift up and in, because it's a bloody heavy piece of steel. As you can see, there's the existing lintel. And we're going to the to this, this brick here. I think the steel's 3.7 and the opening's 3.3. .3. So uh, yeah, once we've got these last few out, We'll um, get the scaffold removed back into the original position with the extra flank and then probably go and get a quick dinner before we get the heavy lifting done. So yeah, get this last bit out and we'll get back to you. And there you have it. That's all the front out, all the soldiers and the bricks, all propped up. And it's uh, that part's ready, so now we've got to hop into the back and get all the back taken out. Then we'll be ready, ready. There's all, there's my little job at the moment. Go get all this bagged up. There's all the bricks. All things considered, we only had one breakage, which wasn't too bad. And if you look, it was quite damaged to start with. So we're just gonna have to take one from there, but that's not a big deal. Only one breakage is really good. So we only need one brick. Fantastic. Humidity is still killing me, but I'll uh, take you to dad and he'll show you what's happening inside and see you then.
what's the time? Five past six. Five past six and I've got five soldiers done. It's been an absolute drag of a day. We finally got the steel up, everyone else has gone. It took us ages to, be, to get this train and get this, this top joint bob all um, chuck points. It didn't take long, long, as long as I thought, but it, it all adds up. It took five of us to get it up. Yeah. We had to fiddle around getting it spun. We, then we had to um, fiddle around getting it back because it wouldn't move Getting back. it in. Get, yeah, getting it in and then getting it back. We had, to, we had to dig out the back and put some pad stones in. The whole thing was fighting against us today, really. Yeah, it's just been... It's one of those things where you, it, it just you think, well, what have you been doing all day? And you think, I don't know. But we've been grafting all day. Yeah. Like, it, it's like it's all the insulation's in there and... Everything came out so easy. Yeah, it Rick, started off so easy. Rick it just ground there, ground there and it just popped out. And then it all went pear-shaped after that. It took ages getting the, the block work in the back of the lintel out. Obviously, I've got to get both skins out. There's the lintel over there. But, uh, yeah. It's six o'clock, so if we can get home for eight o'clock, I'll be happy. Do you want to turn the next speed bump? Oh, well? yeah, I've been home three times. Yeah. Third time was to pick the vents up, and I thought sod it, so I've picked a McDonald's up on the way, so we've had our tea, so at least we're not hungry. Oh, yeah, and the, um, the soldiers, because the steel on the house, super tight beds, probably eight, eight mil bed, but it doesn't work with the steel, so we've had to cut 50 soldiers down down to 205 to get them to the line That's my job now yeah so Alex is just finishing the rest of them off and I'm going to get the rest of these in right let's get you set up somewhere on the time lapse for a bit so I can get the radio on I'm fed up today just want to get home so I'll see you in a bit
Oh, how are you doing? Well, it's eight o'clock, and it's not the AM eight o'clock. No, we're on 8 p.m. currently. Good job it's not winter, it'd be pitch black. But he's on the final stretch now. He was getting there. I've been trying to tidy up as best as I can and get stuff cleaned up. The, um, all that underneath, the Robbies are taking care of that because they said they're going to leave that scaffold up to finish up over there and they'll sort out all the mess. So that's that sorted. And other than that, I've just been making sure the mix is clean getting all our rubbish and tools put away. I'm almost done with that, so as soon as that's finished, I'm gonna go up there and help get some jointing done. But, it's been a long one. It was very, very, very depressing before, but now we're near the end. Yeah, it was like a black hole at first, but now that we're near the end. On the job couch. Yeah. It's about 20 past five. Yeah. Yeah, around about five o'clock it was a bit gloomy, but now uh, I think we're just numb to it, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to describe it. <sighs> so, I'll th pass you back up to Dad on time lapse and I'll uh, see you for the outro.
that's not a mistake. That is quarter to nine. Oh. There you go. One 3.7 meter nine before steel in with an eight mil plate welded to it. Combination frames coming out. That's getting cut down. And I've started the cut up here so I could get, you wouldn't be able to cut this once the steel went in. So we just put the first couple of cores cut in. So Robbie and Robbie can um, carry that cut on down the wall. I think the eighth, the uh, bifolds are coming, so it's going to go from there. Three metres, 315 to the, so what's that? It's that 11, 11 foot door in it. So there you go. You can see where we started. We get to the, took all the soldiers out, only had one break on us, and then we had to cut about 50. Yeah. We had to cut. Um, about 10 mil off 50 bricks okay. because the steel lifts it up by quite a bit. Having PTSD to be an e job, you yeah. Cut all the bricks, yeah. No bricks all this time, no. So, um, yeah, you see there, no bed, so we couldn't follow that. We had to, the steel's the steel's on a very, very tight bed, so that's the best we could do. And just to keep this this bed going across because this had to be right so we could get this top, top brick in. So, um, you'll see there's a um, wheat vent every 300 so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve fourteen wheat vents fourteen there you go fourteen a uh, brand new tray and the back of the steel went directly under the block work on the inside so all we had to do is put the tray on top of the steel and tuck point it all in so the tray is built in properly uh, insulated in the web of the steel inside the cavity, insulated above. Whip cavity tray, wheat vents, done. It's been expanded from under the back so it's all sealed. Yeah, it's been because it's got not, not getting done for a while, it's been filmed uh, where the gap is. And it's just starting to rain. We've been very lucky with the weather. Might be able to see that on the camera. It's been trying like this all day and we've just managed to get away with it. So, I'll hand you to Alex to do one of his fancy outros. Oh. So yeah, that was a very, very long day, but it got done, so that made it worth it. We don't have to come back tomorrow now, so that's the main thing. If you enjoyed our suffering, <laughs> be sure to give it a thumbs up, because that's a massive help for the channel, we greatly appreciate that. If you're new to the channel or you want to keep updated on our uploads and videos, be sure to hit subscribe and tap that bell so you get notified every time. Again, that's a massive help and we greatly appreciate all the uh, positive feedback and all the support for the channel. This has been Brick Clean with Steve and Alex. We're going to go straight to bed when we get home and we'll see you in the next video.